In this example, we'll show you how to program a variable data document, uh, a label that includes a barcode. So here, we're going to use the variable data document workflow. And we will choose our master. And then we'll choose our data source. Here, in this case, it's a CSV. So looking at our data source, we've got three total columns. Two of them are denoted as text, and then the third one is actually already denoted as barcode contents. And when I switch over to my data source here, you can see that the barcode contents column already has a what we call an accelerator in the uh, column header. We've actually got this line here. And Freeform Create realize, recognizes this line as indicating that this information is going to go in a barcode. So we don't have to change anything here. Um, you can manually change it if you need to, but it's just easier to program it uh, from the data source. So that looks correct, and we will uh, go into the design view. Just zoom in a bit here so we can see. So the first thing to add is our text fields. We've got product name. I'm going to change this to be Arial, regular. And 12 is fine for the size. I'm going to align the field within the area. There we go. Just move it up here. And then the next field I'm going to add is my UPC field. This is will just visually display the same UPC number that's included within the barcode. I'm going to make this a little smaller, make this 10. And I'm going to move it down a bit because I know that some product names are a little bit longer and they may end up sort of going over onto two lines. And I just want to make sure there's enough space between the product name field and the UPC field if that does happen. I will uh, align the two text fields so that they're relative center to each other. And now I will add my barcode content. So like any other variable field, you simply just drag it over onto your master. It may default to this uh, COOP 205. Um, I know I want to use the UPCA barcode format. So uh, Freeform Create will automatically uh, format the barcode correctly. Um, a note about barcodes, we have a lot of different types of barcodes, and each type of barcode has different restrictions about the type and format of data that can go into it. So it's important to know what kind of barcode you want to use before you prepare your data source so that your data can be formatted incorrectly. Otherwise, Freeform Create will look at your data and look at the constraints of the barcode type that you're using, and if they don't match, Freeform Create will tell you and you won't be able to continue. Um, so just, you know, for best practices, make sure that your barcode contents are correctly formatted for the type of barcode that you want to use. So now we have our barcode. Um, the barcodes also have size constraints. You can resize them in some cases, but generally um, it will show as small as it's able to go. So here the size is about correct for what we want. Um, and we're going to go ahead and align everything again. We can align our barcode and our product names. Um, we can align them center. Let me just move everything over a little bit. So all of those variable fields look correct, so now we can go preview it. So here is our uh, product name and our visible UPC, and then here is the barcode that includes the UPC information that we have. And if we scroll through uh, the records on the left, you see that the barcodes are dynamically changing, um, just like any other variable field. And we can also view um, the uh, other fields too, we can look at our product name. We know we've got some long, some long names here. And this one actually, um, it fits on one line. That's pretty exciting. We can actually move, we can change the alignment based on that. So knowing that, I'm actually going to move the UPC up so that the spacing looks more even. And now I can go preview it again. That looks a bit better. 
Uh, so just one more time, I will adjust the alignment. Again, this is, this is the beauty of having Freeform Create and that you can make these changes right on the fly before you send it to be printed. Oh, see, now I've gone on to two lines. So that means I need to make this text box just a little bit wider. Again, visual previews. So now I think we're ready to go. And from here, you can send to a fiery server to be imposed or print as you would print any other job.